Hi, it's Paul Anderson, and I just got back from an amazing trip to the HHMI. And you might be thinking to yourself, what is the HHMI and why is it amazing? The HHMI, or the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, was founded in 1953 by businessman and aviator Howard Hughes. And it was kind of a tax dodge. He was able to take his personal fortune of Hughes Aircraft and put it in this nonprofit medical institute. And they didn't really do a lot of research right away. They started to fund researchers, and then after Howard Hughes died, they took Hughes Aircraft, sold it to GM, and then they had a huge amount of money. Right now they have about $16 billion. And I could see that when I went to the institute. I was inside for about five days. This is a picture I snapped when I just ran outside for a second. It's an amazing institute, the fanciest coffee maker that I've ever seen. But that's not where they're putting all of their money. They're putting all of their money into scientists like Randy Sheckman. Randy Sheckman did amazing work on transport in cells, figuring out how vesicles are formed. He studied baker's yeast. And just a few days ago, he got a Nobel Prize in medicine and physiology. Now, they only give three of those away each year, and two of those were given to HHMI researchers. Another one went to Thomas Sudoff. Now, Randy Sheckman made news just last week when he started talking about journaling. He's created this eLife journal, and he's not going to publish in Nature, Science, or Cell anymore. And I'll put a link to that Guardian article right down below. But you might think, wow, that's wild. Two of them in one year. But if we were to look to last year, Robert Lefkowitz, also an HHMI researcher, received a Nobel Prize in his work on G proteins. And if we were to go back to 2009, there were two HHMI researchers, another one in 2008, 2007, 2006. And so they're really on kind of a roll. And you might think, why is that? Well, I think it goes back to their philosophy. They like to fund people, not projects. And what that means is they're giving a huge amount of money to amazing scientists to do amazing science. And if you know any scientists, they lots of times will complain about the amount of uh, grant writing they have to do, they have to get funding, they have to do these reports. And if you're an HHMI researcher, you don't have to do that. You're just given money to do research, pure research on whatever you want. Um, and again, it's had some really great results lately. Now, I'm not a scientist, and so I was brought to the HHMI for a different reason. I was brought to attend the HHMI holiday lectures. And so we listened to amazing scientists, Christopher Walsh, talk about genomics and how it's revolutionizing what we know about brain development. We listened to Charles Sawyer talk about how genomics is revolutionizing what we know about cancer. And so we spent two days doing science, and then we spent two days working with other science teachers. You can see here that we're all smiling, and the reason why is that we're meeting with James Watson, Watson of Watson and Crick, Watson of discovered the structure of the double helix. And so we got to work with him, other scientists, other amazing folks. And so after we listened to the research, then we kind of got to work. We spent two days figuring out how we could make this science more available to students and teachers around the world. And they've been doing this for years. This was just my first time. And they've created this website called BioInteractive. You could just type in biointeractive.org. You could watch the um, lectures that I just attended. You could just click over here and watch those. Or you could type in a topic here, any science topic that you're interested in. And you're going to find amazing lectures, amazing animations, lesson plans, Clients. There's so much stuff there. And so I would encourage you to go visit it. Why do I like the HHMI? Because they fund researchers with real money doing amazing science. And when it comes to education, they create all of this content and then they just give it away for free. So I hope you now know what the HHMI is and I hope that was helpful.